Hello squaddies, we are back here in the Shattered Isles, as always I am D, and today we're in the Maelstrom again. Specifically, we are in the, this is the Fearless Slayer's Bestiary Entry for the Razor Wing Karabakh. Now, the Razor Wing is especially dangerous, or especially more dangerous than its cousin, the regular Karabakh, because a lot of its attacks have, an, have a much higher chance of inflicting wounding status. I've talked about wounding before, I'm not going to go over it too much here. It also adds a couple of new tricks to its repertoire. Mostly it adds some extra twists, but it does actually, unlike the uh, Moon Reaver Shrike, which we covered last week, the Razor Wing actually has an entirely new attack, which I'll talk about when we get a chance. Hey, not right now, cat. Sorry. Sorry, one of my cats is in my lap, and she's being affectionate. I don't blame her. I've actually been gone for a week. All right, now this is actually one where it has a bit of a new twist. I don't know if it was a bug or what. No, that's not a bad pun. But the infestation. I've actually seen the razor wing double stack that, so it'll actually. There's the new one. That is what I like to call the inviso drill. I know it's a stupid name, but you saw how it kind of goes into the air, hovers with one claw pointing down, turns invisible, and then teleports. Yes, that's actually a full-on teleportation. The Razor Wing actually teleports behind a target. And then, once it does that, it, ho it hovers for a second, before it's drilling forward really quickly. This can actually spread infestation, so be ready to move. You also saw that the Thorax Slam it did, it did a little special extra twisting slice, or slap with its tail, afterwards. So you want to be careful with that. You don't want to engage immediately. I don't know what just hit me. There, you kind of see the snap. I know it's invisible right now because of the enrage, but... There's the Inviso Drill when it's actually fully invisible, so you have to be extra careful. There's the wounding from the... Uh... Blade Toss. Metronome. Most of the attacks are actually exactly the same. Although I will also admit that the Razor Wing also tends to use the, uh, it tends, I've seen it use the lawnmower a little bit more often. So you might actually see that this time. Also, it t when it uses the lawnmower, it also tends to use. It tends to go one direction, and then once it finishes that that pass, it goes the other direction as well. Simple tail swipe, scissor cut, Invisible drill coming up. I don't. That might actually be an opportunity for a boop, but I am not 100 percent certain. So don't quote me on that. It just moves. The razor wing just moves too quick to try it. Alright, leave him to revive my teammate. Well, I stupidly go and take a hit. That right there, the, the secondary tail swipe can actually hit you, so be careful. It only ever does that after the thorax slam, from what I've seen. Because of the angle, I'm having trouble telling what it is. Oh, I'm, I'm lucky I missed that blade toss. Also, the thing about the car the razor wing is, it, from what I've seen, it's, it actually seems more likely to eat, uh, take hits from the rift, like I just did. And you gotta remember, there's another inviso drill. When a behemoth uses the rift, it actually uses up two charges rather than just the one that that a player does. charge. Incoming blade. Good stun from our hammer user. Listen up. This is important. 
Well, we'll still get that, hopefully. Also, for the record, guys, I'm recording and I'm going to be processing this video the day before it goes out. So, you guys are seeing this Tuesday. I'm doing this on Monday. Yes, I know you're there, kitty. And yes, it will often spawn still invisible. Oh, it's actually spawned in, in, its, in engaged blades. Which is another thing you'll see. Uh, you, you might notice the marbling on the wings and the, sh and the claws and spines of the Karabakh. That's another good indication that the thing is pissed as hell. Kitty. No, I don't think I'm going to have time, so... How I dodge that, I will never know, but... Like I said, there's one more. Oh, it didn't actually do the second one. It doesn't always, but yeah, a lot of times... The Razor Ring will do a second hit of the, of the lawnmower attack. If I could hit it with a shot during that time, it would actually, it actually would do quite, uh, it would be an op that's the opportunity again. Not where I expected it to spawn, so. Stand here for a second, let my. Or, you know, just take the hit. Bugger it. Miss that entirely. There goes another invisible drill. Again, I know it's a silly name, but it's actually a pretty accurate description of what of what the thing does. Damn it! Oh sh okay, no, okay. One of them used to self revive. And again, when you get infested, remember the best way to deal with it? is to just kind of wave your weapon around. Didn't see that coming. I was right about what it was going to do, actually. More 
I kind of took that for my teammate, not intentionally. We're probably, get, we're probably getting close to the end of this. Don't, and yeah, called it. Send a message to my team. Maybe. Oh, unable to send message. Okay. I guess it's not going to send it. Oh well. But yeah, so again, that is the Razor Wing Karabakh, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the big changes to it are it does a lot more wounding damage, or a lot more wounding attacks. So you got to be careful with that. It's infestation, I don't know if it's, again, I don't know if it was a glitch or a bug or whatever, but it can actually double stack the infestation, so be careful with that. The Thorax Slam, as you saw, is, the basic attack is still the same, but remember that at the end of it, after it does the slam, when it comes up, it typically does a tail whip attack around that can actually cause it to hit you again. So if you're if you're going to engage, immediately after the slam, be extra careful. The lawnmower, it seems to do it one direction and then changes and goes back the other direction. It also seems to use it more often. Alright, and then the, of course, Razor Wing unique attack, the Inviso Drill. Which, again, it's a stupid name, I know. But you saw it pulls back and hovers for a moment with one claw, usually its front right claw, lower to the ground than the other and its body is hunched up in the air. It'll then turn invisible and teleport to a nearby point. Usually it's going to be somewhere behind one of the slayers. It comes visible again and launches forward in a fast moving charge that spins around like a drill. It causes wounding and does some pretty decent knockdown if you get hit. You want to roll left or right away from it basically because otherwise it gives you a good chance of getting hit because the long body of the Razor Wing Karabakh gives it that extra chance. But, that is our second beast from the Maelstrom, folks. Which is supposedly right there. If you enjoyed, please sure to like or favorite the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. And if you want to keep up with me and never miss any of my current series, then consider joining the squadron by subscribing to the channel. That does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. As for that, folks, I have been D. I'm really looking forward to next week because that's when the new weapon drops, but I won't be able to, I unfortunately will not be able to do a video on that immediately. Until then, though, folks, we've beaten the Razorwing Karabakh, and it was decently entertaining, I hope. For now, good night, and good gaming. <laughs>